Surprise, it's me again. Hello, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to another Princess Connect Redive video. Now we have the brand new release of the next character coming out, which is New Year's Kokoro. Ooh, I got a one, one skip ticket. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, character is going to be New Year's Kokoro. She has 100 bonus shards as well when you pull her. This is a Focus Gotcha banner from the December 19th until January 4th, 2023. Uh, she's one of the better characters in the entire game. Now, I would say that she is very, very good. Uh, there's also a new limited three-star, um, one three-star guaranteed banner as well that gives 100 memory shards. But yeah, this is cool to see. Uh, 100 bonus memory shards, which means when you pull her, um, for each character eligible drawn, you'll get a bonus 100 memory shards, uh, which is pretty insane. <laughs> um, so... You'll be able to get the 100 memory shards on the New Year's Kokoro, which means you won't have to use as many divine amulets on her as you would another character. Um, New Year's Kokoro looks really cool. She has really cool animations. So now I really don't want to use too many jewels here. I have 56,000, so I do have enough to guarantee myself the New Year Kokoro. But, but, there is a, another character that I'm going to be saving for. Besides the New Year Kokoro, we have the Princess Fest Kokoro coming out in about six to seven months uh, on the English version. And that one is the one that I've been really trying to save for. Um, obviously, I do have 55,000, so I, I have enough expendable income to the point where I'm able to summon. Um, and I've been playing actually a lot recently. Uh, the past few days, I have been playing. I went up, I think, six levels in, the, in two days. So I went up uh, <laughs> quite a bit in the levels. I'm only level 132, so I'm a little bit behind. But, but, I mean, I'm still trying. We're still trying. I've been enjoying the game actually quite a bit. Uh, because thankfully blue stacks has fixed the glitch where your frames would drop every time the, the more longer you stay on the game the more your frames would drop and it would get really annoying if they reset your app every time uh, but after i updated it it actually stopped doing it so that actually was a very big thing to me so where i was not annoyed and i could just keep grinding and grinding without having to close and reopen the game but anyways here we are focus got you banner New Year's Kokoro, she is one of the better characters in the entire game. Let's go ahead and take a look at her kit before we go ahead and summon. New Year's Kokoro is a physical damage dealer. This is her stats at level 154 at rank 16 with max equipment refinement. Uh, here is her Union Burst. Her Union Burst is the New Year's Light. It is a moderately recovered of an HP. She's going to, obviously, so it's like the normal Kokoro. The normal Kokoro who re regenerates her own HP. She gives HP regeneration to all allies and she's going to be boosting their physical attack by a large amount. So just reading this Union Burst already, you could tell that she is a physical support carry. Um, very, very good for physical characters. Moving on next, we have her next skill, the Spirit Wall, which is a taunt. So this is obviously going to be a tank character. She's going to be taunting and deploying a bear around herself that absorbs physical and magical damage, and she taunts. So this is kind of like having an, an ability of June on a skill. Um, with also the taunt of Nozomi. So this is what also makes New Year's Coco so damn good, is as a tank, she's going to be taking away from maybe like they're trying to snipe her back line, your magic characters, like maybe they have like a Tamaki on their team. Uh, this will be able to stop it. So this is really good and a very good ability to have on a tank. This is one of the most important abilities to have on a tank. Now this is where she starts to become very, very ridiculous as a tank and as a support character. Moderate boost to physical attack, large boost to physical crit rate, and moderate boost to physical crit damage for the ally with the highest physical attack. Now, this isn't a Summer Saren ability. Summer Saren's ability is she buffs magic and physical crit rate, and then she gives it to everyone, right? This is only going to be affecting your highest physical attack character. Um, so, for example, if you're using a team, let's say, with Kokoro New Year, uh, let's say you're using Weemley and Makoto... Um, this is only going to apply to Mwimli, right? But this is going to be giving them 1860 attack, 100 critical rate, and 30% increase on their critical damage. This is an insane ability. This character looks so good. She has a taunt that absorbs. Now, this isn't like a June Shields level of absorption, but the taunt combined with the physical absorption, and she also does heal herself on her uh, Union Burst, makes a great combo she's also healing her allies 740 hp per second so she's kind of she kind of does it all she's healing she's a great physical support she's a taunter and a great tank um so this is pretty much all you could ask for in a tank she's a more physical defense tank than a magic defense tank um but she still looks really really good very easy for newer players so if you are a newer player i definitely would recommend getting her um so yeah we'll see 
how our summons go. I'm pretty excited. Once again, I do not look forward to using every single one of our uh, jewels here because I do have a lot, but um, I do want to start saving them for other characters. And yeah, so for, so starting off, we're not really getting too good of luck, but that's okay. That is okay. I kind of expected this not to go super well because this is not double three star rates. Um, the double three star rates, I think, was on the previous one, which was New Year's Carol, who I actually ended up missing out on because I've been busy with uh, getting stuff together. But I think, I think that, okay, so that is our first multi. We're getting some divine amulets, though. And I think that this is going to go either good or very bad like i don't i don't really think there's an in between for this um but we're hoping to at least get a three star sometime in the next two three pools or so um would i go to pity is the question i don't think i'm going to um let's go and skip this whatever it doesn't doesn't matter anymore whatever we're, we're just gonna keep going all right let's see what happens come on three star there we go. There's a three star. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Two Masojis. Yori. Ray. Lima. Maharu. All right. This should be a three star right here. All right. It's Ilya. Okay. Hey, Ilya. How you doing? <laughs> so, obviously, that is not who we were looking for. Um, but we did get a three star. Ilya, which is some Divine Amulet. So, I will definitely take it. We are, of course, looking for the GOAT New Year's Kokoro, who does have a very, very pretty universe. That universe is so pretty, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Such a cool universe, dude. All right, let's go ahead and jump into our next summon. See how this does. So we already got one three-star, which is pretty good. I'm not expecting to get, you know, a bajillion three-stars, but if we can at least get a few three-stars in this video, I will take it. Maybe any one of them that I don't have. You know, something like that. Um, any any, any one of those really would be nice. Next summon. Let's see. No three-star pamphlet. We're also looking for the rainbow pamphlet, but we're not getting any of those either. So this, is, this isn't going too... Okay. This isn't going too great, um, which is what I expect from Princess Connect Redive, if I'm being honest. I usually get screwed on this game a lot. Um, five multis in and only one three-star. It's not, not great. Not great. This is not going too great, um, but that's okay, because I was not expecting us to absolutely, like, get god-tier luck, but... Uh, Alright, another dead multi. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this one. Next multi. We are on multi number... This should be seven? Yeah, this should be seven. No three-star pan flip. Just gonna go ahead and skip the animation. Uh, lots of lots of golds, but unfortunately no three-star, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip. So, we're not doing too well. Uh, this is multi number eight, but it's okay. I will do, we'll do, we'll do, we're, we're only about halfway done through what I wanted to go through. Um, so, hopefully, we'll be able to get her sometime soon. <laughs> because right now, we are just getting screwed right now. So, let's just keep going. Multi number nine. There we go. There's a three star pamphlet. Perfect. So, we have a guaranteed three star here. Me, hope, hopefully, two, not just one. Hopefully, two. Okay, just one, just one. That's fine. Um, let's see. Here we go. What is our three star going to be? Nina. All right. Well, that's not, not who we are looking for. But it is a three star, though, so I can't really complain. Got some divine elements as well. All right. Here we go. Multi number ten. I don't expect anything here. This doesn't look. This does doesn't look too good. I wish they had a little bit of a, of a different animation, rather than just a three star pamphlet like. Like the rainbow pamphlet maybe it could be i don't know like she trips and falls or it's carol running in instead of her all right let's go i only plan to do maybe well maybe we'll do like i don't know five more or something um but we'll, we'll see this is this is not going very well i'm getting very screwed here we go this is multi number 12. All right, come on. Bring it home. Wow. Okay. Okay. We. I don't want to end on hot garbage, so we're going to end on a three-star. Next time we get a three-star, we will end it. If it's a, if it's her or not, it doesn't matter. 
So let's let's see. Okay, Jesus, that was literally the exact same thing as last time. <laughs> All right, multi number thirteen down. Let's go ahead and do multi number fourteen. Three star. There we go. Three star pamphlet. All right, so we have a rainbow pamphlet here. Uh, hopefully, we can get two and one. Okay, there's just just one, just one. Great. All right. So it is going to be on the fifth one. So here it comes. Here we go. Oh, that's Kazumi. Hey, I'll take it. I didn't have her. Nice. All right, that's my first ever Kazumi. And I've always wanted to get Kazumi, so there she is. I actually will take that. It's a new character. Character I did not have before. So, honestly, that, that, I will take it. I will definitely take it. It's a character I did not have. New character. Nice. Okay. One more. One, one, one more. We will do one more. Or two, depending on our luck. Oh, three star, three star. Okay, we got a three star. It's on the 10th slot. This this might be our last one, depending on who it is. If we get screwed over and it's like, I don't know, June or something, uh, uh, we're done. But if it's a new character, I, I don't want to end on a new character. Let's see. This should be it right here. Oh, it's a new character. Oh, my God. It's her. Yes. Yes. There it is. Okay. All right. New Year Kokoro. And we get 100 bonus memory shards. 15 multis. Um, honestly, not bad. We got a new character. We got Cosme. Um, we did not get as many three stars as I would have liked, but that's to be expected when you don't have double three star draw rates when you're doing like two, three, three stars and every single summon. But look at that art, dude. This art, dude, I just want to like soak it in. Like this art is insane. All right. Well, there we go. Um, there is our New Year Kokoro. We also get a bonus 100 memory shards. So I will definitely take it. Um, only took us 150 character exchange points or 15 multis. Uh, so that is exactly multi number 15. And we still have 33,000 jewels left over. So I definitely will take that. These jewels will probably be saved for the start of next year. Maybe for Princess Festival Pecorine when she comes out during... I think she is the second anniversary. Um, so I definitely will be doing some summons for Princess Festival Pecorine. And then from there, it's going to be definitely for Princess Festival Kokoro, who I'm going to be going crazy for as well. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and set her as the background. Of course, I do this every time I get a new character. Nenika has been my background for a bit. And let's go ahead and set the girl. Where is she? There she is. Look at that. Such a pretty background, dude. Wow. Yeah, this they definitely killed it with the art on this character. This, this looks amazing. All right. Well, there we go. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you guys all had good luck on your summons as well. I'd say this wasn't bad. 15 multis for the character. I definitely would take that over having to go for pity. So we are halfway to pity. Um, it only took us, what was that? I don't know, 20,000 jewels around there. Um, so yeah, let me know how you guys did down in the comment section down below. I definitely will be playing this game a little bit more. Going to try to get my player level up there uh, because I have been enjoying it because I haven't been playing for a while. So I've been enjoying just playing and going through the quest mode and doing some tower of luna stages and other stuff like that but I, i've been enjoying it that genuinely so thank you everyone for watching hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day surprise i am back with another video so hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i had fun summoning besides you know me getting all the gold characters we did end up getting the character herself so i definitely will take it and i'll see you guys all in the next video bye everyone